Okay, so this is the FG door trim that I've got to take off because I want to get more to the tint that's lower. Um, you can get a knife like this. I've just unclicked this already, but if you get it right in there and just slight ply, that'll pull it up. You gotta watch here, there's like a it's like a um like an L bar, which then let me get my finger like that. It, it's a slide, so it goes in that way. So when this piece comes out at the end, it needs to come out that way. If you pull it straight out, it's gonna snap and it's right behind you somewhere. Um, so best, so this is a whole cover, so best to get a nice sharp prying tool and just, what you'll do is, see that, see that, it just popped. And here is very thin, so you, so you want to um, be very careful when you're um, clicking that. So just do it most of the way. Little guy, little, little by little, Oops. and that already came out. That I didn't expect that to pop out so easy, but that's what I'm talking about. It's got a little L, which normally will slide out there. So that's off. It'll have little, um, like star screws there. That's the first part of that door, and then I think next is, um sort of like the same thing goes this is a little plastic cover so you're you get in behind it here one second pause yeah so behind here it's got little like a tab can you see that tab and then there's another tab you can just do this with your fingers another tab and then this thing will just pop Whee! And it'll go over there and you'll get another star screw there. Okay, so I've got those two nuts out, which are there. I think it says T where are we? Uh, T25. I think it says T25. Uh, the size T25. Hard to see, I'll focus on that, but I think it says T25. On this bottom one. Uh, where are we? There. You're going to have to need, because it's too hard on the hands, you're going to, what I'm going to use is uh, just a couple of these to then grab it and crack it. Once she's cracked it should be, be fine to turn. Yep, coming out like Flynn. Oh, hot today. It's supposed to be 24, but it feels like 30. Yep. So they're all the, pretty much the same sort of screw. Anyway, next. Okay, so after you take that nut out, this should just pop out. And of course it's going to be dusty. Because this thing was hooned. And what I noticed, because there's two under here as well, well there should be, uh, where are we, two up there, but I think someone's had this door cut off because they're missing. So I'm going to have to get a records and go off. And also normally you've got a series of sir clips along here with nearly every single door card which would normally clip and these are just, these are already popping out. So. This should just lift. You can see it's already coming off. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look how dusty. Oh boy. Alright, so I'm just going to pull that off with two hands. One sec. Now, at the front, they've also got these circlets. These long penis looking things. Um, yeah, they, they are a little bit tough. You feel like you're going to break it, but they hopefully won't break. And look how beautifully coated this is with dust. So you'll have the two connectors uh, somewhere here. Do they clip in, clip out? I should have like pushing this one. See, out you come. Where are we? Uh, I'm grabbing the big one first. 
right, so you just got to squash thing there. That's the first one. This one didn't, didn't even seem to need to squash. Okay, so that looks like the door cut. Oh, and it looks like you've got a mechanism there. Right there. So, yeah, that's your door latching. So when you pull your door to open, it pulls that up and down. Um, let me have a looky. Let me have a looky. Oh, that'll be easy. So, I reckon you just pull this forward, unclip that, and this should, in one of the directions, this should just pop off. Where are we? One second, I've just got to study that for a sec. Yeah, it's going to come off that way. So, when you look at it, it comes out the back and pops off. And just put it there. But, as per usual with this FG... I'm going to have to get the... get the blower on it. Far out. She's a dusty girl. So, yeah, I'm, I'm leaving the windows down today just to cool the car down, but... um, So, I'll leave this off, I'll blow it, and clean it up as much as possible. And, um... Then I'll just have this off for the guy who will uh, do the tinting on that window. But it's not a hard process to um, get the door card off. So now that I know the door card's been off before, I'm going to have to get a couple more of these style screws for those lower sections. Someone hasn't put them back on. And it's annoying when people don't put things back on. Because then it means me, or anyone that's putting things together, has to go and do a search. So if you're burning someone else's time, that's not good. <laughs> anyway, so that's a door card off an 2010 Ford FG. So I've taken this off primarily to get to the... I've cleaned all the window for the tent because that tin was bubbling and falling off so when I bring the window all the way up I should be able to behind this get to a bit more of this rubber strip here to get to the lower part of the tinting that's happened and it'll be easier for the tint guy to put on without that door card then or well, a little bit anyway so that's done